Hi guys, it's Mike here today. I'm back on a Wednesday as it's the Simon Says Time Wednesday challenge and I was asked to be a guest designer for December. This is what I made. Our theme this week is wrap it up. So like tags or gift bag or anything that you might use to wrap up. And um, <laughs> yeah, I use mashed potato box, but you can use anything. I'm a bit ashamed to show that after in the house, but a ream of paper doesn't fit into the screen. So I made a smaller bag, but you can of course make the bags as big as you want. As long as you have anything that you wrap up. I um, sometimes use CD stacks, the boxes, uh, the cases, so I can make um, it as thick as I want to as well. And I use wrapping paper in this nice tealy color that is kind of peacock feathers. And the Stamper Anonymous stamp. It's all linked down below in the description box. If you click expand or view more, then you will see all the links. They're also linked on my blog if you're interested. And the link to my blog post is also down below. So basically, it's like wrapping up a present, but instead of closing it off all four sides, you just use three sides. And I like to use tape runner so you can do it invisibly and this is double sided tape but you can of course just use scotch tape or glue gun to sh um, seal your bag together i was being a bit stingy here because <laughs> it's, it's only a few yards on there and um, you don't have to fold it back you can also use a nice edge to cut it on the top but i like it when it has like a sleeve that's contrasting, but that's just preference. And um, to make it the bag have their sides, it helps to burnish the corners using the box. And you can see that I already made one fold. And don't pack it up too tightly or you might not get your box out. <laughs> and that's why I like to use a stack of CD cases or pocket books and you can slide the middle one out without any problems. For the bottom, by the way, I just use normal tape because I figured you won't see that. And where it needs a little bit more, I just tape it. And as you see, I'm trying to fold all the corners and then take it out and make the fold in the middle. I think this is the easiest way to make a gift bag and uh, you can make it any size, as I said, <laughs> if, as long as you have something to wrap it around and you don't close the top. So you can make the bottom. And if you want, you can use your boom folder to burnish everything. And because this is a very smooth paper, I'm using stays on. Just to be sure it will dry and not smudge. Of course, if you use designer paper with a nice pattern, you don't have to do this, but <laughs> I wanted to use Tim Holtz products. So to, it stays on. I re-inked it last night, so I thought it would have time to sink into the pad, but hmm. I either used too little or waited too long. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You can also use later on, I'm switching to the Long Fond Yeti pigment ink, and you can also use some acrylic paint. See, I, I uh, measured the box to fit the stamp, but I still have to put it on the slant a little bit. And I'm rocking this stamp. Yeah, it's wood mounted, so <laughs> you can't stamp it again. And there you have your little silhouette flying in the sky with the moon. And actually, I think the stays on that it was dry helped a lot because it looked you know, textured like a planet. And this is just a sheet of card, white card, cut in half. And I'm showing you a tag, but I'm not using it. These are Distress Oxide, Black Suit, Chip Sapphire, and Blueprint Sketch, which I will ink blend the whole sheet, or half the sheet. See, I almost did it wrong. <laughs> I have to have a landscape. The idea is to make a triptych of tags that are all slightly different but the same and that's because the stamp that i have is so very wide 
you can't, you know, <laughs> you stamp him upside down on a tag. So I thought if you give someone three gifts, they might have all the same tags and they coordinate with the gift bag as well. I thought that would be nice. Of course, these are not the same colors as my gift paper, but you could, you know, use peacock feathers. Um, but I went for the night sky, just so like that, with a silhouette and a moon. And then, of course, I'm also uh, splattering it with brush pewter and white linen this, uh, spray stains to give the starry night sky feel. And also, of course, water. I split this up three times. So I <laughs> don't think I'm really good at ink blending. I switched hands though quite a few times because it's a big piece of paper. So first water. And I sprayed that. You can see the direction of the splatter. Um, but that's okay. It's just for texture and depth of field. Brush Peter is my favorite metallic spray. Four stars, <laughs> yes. This is Nocturne Versifying Clear Ink, and I'm going to use that to stamp my uh, sleigh again. Uh, I cleaned it in between the stays on and this one with the uh, Summer System Stamp Cleaner, just to be sure. You can see it won't fit on the whole sheet, but I'm cutting it down later. Just making sure all the tags have a little bit of the center sleigh. And I forgot the moon, so I'm going to do that a little bit later, but more on the the side. This time just also to make sure I don't smudge anything, because after all this work you don't really want to start again. And my uh, sleigh is not very visible against the dark sky, but it will dry up a little bit better. And if you're worried about that, you can use highlights with a gel pen or even emboss it in a color that will show up. But I think silhouettes need to be black. I see now this is 21 centimeters and then one bit won't just get the moon. So I'm cutting off three centimeters, making it around 18. So I wasn't really precise there, <laughs> but um, then you can divide it into three by six centimeters. Then of course to make it into a tag, I cut off the corners and punch a hole. And I like to use my grid block here and I just um, put a little line where the, at the two squares and then I cut the corners off with scissors. I mean, it's very simple and you can make your tags shorter if you want. These are quite big, they're 15 centimeters, that's six inches, but yeah, I like it because they're nice and slender and tall. And yeah, sorry, I'm just removing the paper because it was annoying me. <laughs> so now you have a nice triptych and um, just a bunch, hole puncher. I couldn't find this one, but I linked to a similar one on the Simon System website. And that also goes for the cutter. Of course, I should have used the Tim Holtz guillotine cutter, but I don't have it. So thank you for watching and thank you Simon System for having me. And um, yeah, I'm pointing at the back because it's got smudged a little bit. You can cover it up if you prefer, but uh, I'm not bothered. I will just write to and from on the back. So again, thank you for watching and I will see you again next Wednesday. Bye.